You're watching Reason and Theology Live. The show concentrates on theological topics, historical matters, and philosophical problems with content ranging from introductory material to in-depth examinations. And now, your host, Michael Lofton. A recent magisterial document of the church was principally authored by Cardinal Fernandez. Some are attempting to smear his name by bringing up a book that he wrote 25 years ago called Mystical Passion. But before we get into the details, let me remind you, hit that subscribe button. Help me grow Reason and Theology to reach more people with a reasonable take on matters of theology. This is a book that is controversial because it has all kinds of material in it that can be considered inappropriate. Cardinal Fernandez has responded and said that this was something he wrote many years ago and he no longer approves of it and that he certainly would not write it today. In other words, he recognizes that it has some problems and he's changed his perspective on it. But I find it interesting that people are trying to throw this in his face to somehow discredit him and thereby discredit the magisterial document that he helped write. I think if we were going to carry this to its logical conclusion, we would also have to reject multiple ecumenical councils, since some of the documents in these councils were written by people who were, frankly, murderers. One can also point to Joseph Kloitgen, who wrote the first draft of the papal encyclical, Eterni Patris, and then point out all of the problems surrounding Kloitgen that we found out about many years after his passing. Also, I'll just point out that this is a tactic of Satan. In order to discredit a person, he always brings up things from their past. I imagine these accusers who are currently accusing Cardinal Fernandez would not like for things in their past to be brought up and then exposed all over social media. I imagine they have some things that they no longer hold to and perhaps even some sins that they don't want people to know about in public. However, if they do the filthy work of Satan by smearing a person's name, by bringing up their past, I just wonder how long it is before Satan will betray them as well and Satan will smear their name all over social media. After all, Satan is not loyal to those who do his bidding. And by the way, I just want to remind you, make sure to hit that like button and especially the subscribe button. Help me grow this channel so I can reach more people with the content that you appreciate and enjoy from Reason and Theology. Are you a Catholic thinking about converting to Eastern Orthodoxy? Or are you a Protestant discerning whether or not to become Catholic or Eastern Orthodox? If so, I have the book just for you. It's called Answering Orthodoxy and engages all of the arguments that Eastern Orthodox use against the Catholic Church. I respond to all of them. I show that they are in error and in fact they're inconsistent because the things that Orthodox are objecting to are in fact found in their own tradition. So the fullness of the faith can only be found in the Catholic Church. Check out the book right now at shop.catholic.com.